In this video, I'm gonna give you my expired script and teach you how to set more listing appointments with expired leads. If you haven't checked out my channel before, I am dedicated to the art of prospecting and helping agents like yourself become top listing agents. If you don't have the expired script, it is in the link in the description below. You can download that and follow along as we break down the script. So I will break down every single line of the script and explain exactly why I say what I say. The first thing you say is, hi, is Bob available? Now you wanna use their name right away. Number one, you wanna make sure you have the right person on the phone. But as Dale Carnegie says in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, if you haven't read it, highly recommend it. But he says the sweetest sound in the English language is someone's name. So you wanna you know, use their name, they, they perk up. Instead of saying, hey, this is David, how's it going? You wanna initially say, hi, is Bob available? Again, just trying to put their name in and make sure you have the right person on the phone. The next line in the script is, hey Bob, this is David. I'm a local realtor and I was calling about your home for sale on Main Street that came off the market. Did you end up accepting an offer or is it still available by chance? What this line is designed to do is just tell them what your intentions are up front. You're calling about the home for sale on Main Street that came off the market. What a lot of agents are doing is saying, hey Bob, how's your day going? or hey Bob, how's it going? How are you? You don't wanna use this line because as nice as it is, you know, it sounds nice, they know you're not calling about their day and the 17 other realtors that just call them are asking about their day and then asking to set a listing appointment. So you just wanna be upfront with your intentions and have it more as a casual conversation, not so salesy. What their typical response to this is, is that no, it's not available anymore. That's where the third line comes in. The third line is, are you still considering offers on the property if it makes sense? Typically, they're gonna say yes, but why wouldn't they still consider an offer if it made sense? So this question's just trying to move things along and get more into the asking for the listing at the end. So the fourth line is, okay, great. With that area being so hot, I was a little surprised to see that the home didn't sell. What kind of feedback did your last agent give you? This is a great line because you're trying to come off as almost shocked that the home didn't sell. Especially in this market, I'm genuinely shocked when homes are sitting on the market 300, 400 days, or usually not 400, but you know, a year on the market is ridiculous in a market where there's so low inventory and listings are selling over asking still. So you do wanna convey you know, a little bit of shock and surprise over the phone. And then you're asking, what kind of feedback did your last agent give you? This is to uncover, you know, maybe why the home didn't sell. Was it the price? Was it the house was too messy? Were they not marking it properly? This will get you insight as to the conversation between the previous listing agent and the client and help you try to solve the client's problem moving forward. The next line, very important, similar to the fourth line is, oh, okay, I see. What do you think stopped the home from selling? This is now uncovering why they think it didn't sell. This is the most important thing because if you can solve exactly why they think the house didn't sell, then you basically have the listing right there. If you're coming at them saying, I can solve this problem for you, you know that's what our business is designed to do. We're a problem solving business and we're supposed to be giving people value. If there's no value to be had, you move on to the next person and you're always just trying to provide value. So if you uncover what made what they thought stopped the home from selling and you share with them a way that you can solve that issue, it's gonna to be tough for you not to get the listing at that point. So the sixth line is where you start asking for the listing appointment. This line is, gotcha. Well, if I was able to get the home sold in the next 30 to 60 days and get you to the $300,000 you were looking for, would you be open to seeing what we can do for you? You're basically solving all their problems with that one line or saying you can. Saying, if I can sell it for you in a timely manner, 30 to 60 days, and get you what you were asking for, 300,000 or whatever the previous list price was, are you open to meeting with me? I love using this line, are you open to meeting with me or are you open-minded to hearing what I have to say? I've been saying this throughout my channel, no one likes to think of themselves as closed-minded. And when you've already solved basically all their problems, you've uncovered it and you shared with them how you can solve the problems that they're, they were having before, and now you're saying, are you just open to hearing what I can do for you? 
it's tough to say no to and you're coming at a place of trying to provide the client value the next line is okay great what i can do is stop by and see the home for 15 20 minutes and discuss a plan with you that'll actually cause the home to sell and then you can decide if it makes sense or not sound fair now this line of you can decide if it makes sense or not brandon mulren and he's a great youtuber that teaches prospecting as well he likes to use this line a lot and what it does is it puts the prospect in a position of control you're giving them the option out and you're saying, you know, we're only going to work together if it makes sense, which is true. Again, if there's no value to be had, there's no point in meeting them. So you're only trying to come at a, a value based proposition and share with them, hey, you know, 15, 20 minutes, I can just discuss with you a plan that will actually cause your home to sell. And you've already uncovered all the reasons why it could have not sold and you can solve their problem right then and there. So the next line, you will obviously be just setting the appointment. Perfect, I have some time today at 4 p.m. or tomorrow at six, which works better for you? This is a good line, you wanna, you don't wanna just say, hey, four o'clock, does it sound good? You know, if it doesn't work, then you, you got them to say no, you wanna get them to say yes, so you give them a few options. Would today work better for you or would tomorrow at six work better for you? Or whatever the time is, obviously, that works for your schedule. So this is the breakdown of the expired script. Expireds are a fantastic lead source to call. They're such a low hanging fruit in the business. A lot of agents call them, so you don't wanna come off like the typical salesperson agent and not have a plan when you're talking to them. You wanna have a clear, concise thing as to what you're gonna say, why you're calling. If there's value to be had, you continue the conversation. If there's not, you move on to the next. That's all we're trying to do. I hope this video provided you some value. If it did, leave a like and a comment below. Always appreciate when people subscribe. It keeps me motivated to keep making content like this. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.